Good morning, modern steaders. It's been snowing all night. It's supposed to snow all day. They're calling for anywhere from six inches to 18 inches. <laughs> How many think we're gonna get? I don't know. You don't know, you want 18? No. No. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Last night when I was trying to get Figaro in the house, he caught a possum. What? Yeah, he caught a possum. Like a big one? A good sized possum, yeah. <laughs> Crazy cat. He's a good chicken protector though. Ah, Why 10 30 at night. No, I don't know where it was, but 10 30 at night, there was a possum and Figaro right there. <laughs> ah, that crazy cat. I, I tell you what, he's a good protector. Yeah. This wind is some crazy this morning. It's nice out, but not with the wind. I know, it's warm but windy. And when we say warm and windy, we mean 31 degrees and windy. Right? That's pretty bad when we think that's warm. <laughs> Are you ready to get on the bus? Yes. Okay, have a good day. <laughs> Figure out the protector protected you guys last night from a possum. The possum was almost the same size as Figaro. I was pretty surprised that he had caught something that big. Snowball making snow. Have a good day. Love you. Have a good day. Drive safely. Drive safely. It's windy out. Yep. See ya. The sled's gonna get a workout today. Tell you what, that wind is blowing good. The outdoor weather station earlier was saying the wind speed was 11 and it had a max of 21 mile per hour wind gusts. Goats need some more hay. I hear the goats. I'll cut the hay out here. So the reason why I'm only giving my goats half a flake of hay right now is they're putting on way too much weight. And if I give them a whole flake, they just sit in front of that hay feeder all day long. And goats do need to constantly be eating, but I don't want them to be overeating. So if I cut the flake in half, I can ration how much they're eating in a sitting. And I'm going to keep an eye on them and make sure they're getting enough feed. There. Good morning, girls. How did you sleep last night? Oh, 
out. They found the hay. Did you girls find the hay already? You got hay in your eye or something. Well, are you ready to go milking? There you go. So I'm not just cutting back on their feed for the heck of it. I just want to make sure they're not putting on too much weight. They're a little on the round side right now. I just want to make sure they don't get any bigger. They're not as active as they are in the spring and summer this year. With the weather we've been having, I think Willow's going to be done milking here pretty soon. Our milk supply has cut back quite a bit. Hoping she goes in heat shortly, and then we can bring her back to the farm that we bought her from and get her bread. The other thing I'm doing to help her get into heat or to know when she's in heat is I got a buck bomb. It's a rag that I wiped from a buck, so it's got the scent of a buck on it. Smell that? Since it's gonna be windy today, let's do this. Give the girls a place to get out of the wind. You gonna get in the sled? Figaro took a ride. Go for it. I was just in the house getting the chickens water and it said we were having 16 mile per hour wind speed at the time. Some good wind gusts today. So glad Figaro caught that possum last night. Man, what an awesome cat. Morning, Moose. There's some fresh snow out here. You girls gonna come out? Probably not, huh? Oh, Moose. Been getting a lot of questions lately about our chicken coop, New York City. It's built on an old pop-up camper frame. And I'll put a link to the playlist right here I have of making it. All right, now we got a project to go work on. I'm gonna build a thermos for our goat's water. I have a five quart round bucket here. We got some pine boards, and then we're gonna use some great stuff. So what my thought is, is to make a box have the bucket sit in it, fill it with foam, and then it'll be insulated and keep the water from freezing longer. That's my theory, and we're gonna build it and we'll find out. I really think this is gonna gain us quite a bit of frost protection for their water. my tools out it's a perfect time to cut the rest of the sides. Got some kindling now. Alright, I gotta keep this build super simple. And glue and screw it.
let's test fit it all first. And then that, let's mark the edge. Won't put glue past it. glue it on all joints now I want to find center which is going to be 8 and 5 8 both ways all right I want to measure my bucket and go nine inches and that'll give me enough room to support here I don't have a big enough compass so what I'm going to do to make my circle Screw there, tie a rope, tie a piece of butcher twine around it. again. I'm unwinding. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll tie it here. That's going to give me the same. Oh, that'll work. No. All right, let's try this again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Nice dark line so I know which one to follow. Get our starter hole going. Now we just gotta hope that the hole's the right size. Moment of truth. Awesome. I like it. Better bring it out to the goats and make sure it's not too tall for them. Oh, that'll work perfectly. Maybe I'll cut an inch off of it. I know Willow can get in and drink just fine. I 
don't know if they got a drink if they don't want a drink, but maybe they'll check it out because they're curious. Watch out. They can touch the water. I think I'll cut an inch off the height and it'll still be good. I marked the box on all four sides an inch. Now we can go around and trim the box down. bucket in. Actually first let's do something else. I'm gonna wrap the bucket with saran wrap so the foam can't stick to it. There. That'll help us. Might not be pretty, but it'll serve its purpose. Don't tell Gina I'm using the saran wrap from the kitchen. All right. Now I'll put it in the bucket. Turn it upside down. I'm gonna shim up. I'm only going to be able to do a little bit at a time. If I tried filling this whole box at once, it wouldn't be good. I have three cans. Hopefully this is enough. And I'm assuming today I'll probably only be able to do one can. Then I'll have to let it dry and do it again. See how this works. It's been drying for a few hours. I think we can add one more can today. And I think to finish it off, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, I think that's going to empty that can out. It is snowing out, but look at the flakes. They're monsters! Yeah, I know. So you got to try to catch them in your mouth. Ah, got one. You catching any? Mm -hmm. They're big ones, you can. Like this. Ah. Ah. Alright, it's your turn. See if you can catch any. Oh, it got you. Look at them things. They're <laughs> monsters. Man. You having fun? Yeah. yeah. I caught one. It's like so picturesque over there. <sighs> I think we're having too much fun. I think today's video is probably pretty long as it is. Hopefully either tonight or tomorrow morning I'll finish up foaming the waterer and we can try it within the next day or two and it should help keep the goat's water from freezing. 
just want to encourage you guys to keep pushing forward strive to live the life you want to live don't get stuck in the past your past is your past the future is yours get it and we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom bye